An atmospheric river event is soaking Washington State and Oregon here in early December. Heavy rain, strong winds, and landslides, all of that is on the radar. But let's talk for just a minute about how climate change is making events like this more extreme. So atmospheric rivers are long, narrow jets of air carrying massive amounts of water vapor. Think 25 Mississippi rivers worth of moisture flowing through the sky. They're a natural part of Pacific Northwest life, but climate change has made them more unnatural. Here's why. A warmer atmosphere is a greedy one. It holds on to more moisture. For every 1 degree Fahrenheit of warming, it can hold 4% more water vapor, increasing the potential for heavy rain. A NASA-led study found that as carbon emissions continue, atmospheric rivers will decrease globally by 10% by 2100. But when they do occur, they'll be at least 25% wider or longer. This means the frequency of strong rain and wind is projected to double. Now the fingerprints on this atmospheric river. Ocean temperatures are running 1 to 4 degrees above average under this moisture plume. Attribution science shows this unusual Pacific warmth is made at least 10 times more likely due to climate change. Warmer oceans boost evaporation, feeding this rainmaker. The mild air arriving with this rain, it's heatwave-like for early December. Temperatures 15 to 25 degrees above average that would be rare or almost impossible without human-created carbon pollution. So look, it comes down to this. Climate change is supercharging the water cycle. Our heaviest rain days are getting heavier. Precipitation changes linked to climate change account for one-third of inland flood damage in the U.S. since 1988. We have more of this data, and you can dive in. It's up right now at climatecentral.org.